Yo, kid, I told you I'm coming for you. So you tough, huh? No, I don't think I'm tough. Well, guess what? I'm your daddy today. Now, like I always say, when it comes to bullies, you have to stand up for yourself. But fam, don't be stupid either. See, size makes a huge difference in fights. And you know the saying, the bigger they are, the harder they fall. High school, aka secondary school. The only time in your life that when you're in it feels like the most important moment in your life. But once you're out, wow, won't mean a damn thing. Oh, please believe, you're never gonna see those people again. Now, I don't know where you reside, but here in the great land of America, high school students age from 14 to 18 years old. That means you're coming to your freshman year as a 69 overall, no badge, having V card holding, puberty undergoing, scrawny kid, but with time and some of that God's work. You leave a 99 overall, full grown, drip having, facial growing, pipe laying demon. Now, that, my guy, is called high school. But there's a loophole to this a loophole called flunking. Now, if you didn't know, flunking is a failure to reach a required standard in the course of a study, thereby resulting in being held back in a certain grade level. Now, I know what you're thinking. Damn, Tim! How many times can one get held back until you're too old to attend high school? Well, according to research, this is a matter of state law. For example, states like Alabama kick the students out as soon as they reach 17, whereas DC, Kansas, Nevada, and Tennessee don't have a set maximum age limit. Now, since your boy grew up in North Kagalaki, our age limit for free education is 21. That means if you're 20, chilling in, I don't know, sex ed, bam, once you hit 21, that's your ass. You, my guy, are F Billy, a bum, some might say, so pack your bags and go flip those those burgers. Man, f this job. Now, if you're still young and on the path of flunking, don't lose hope. You still got a second chance, a chance that comes in the name of summer school. Now, summer school is purposely made for kids just like you. Badass little kids that need their ass whooped for failing. Yo, yo, no teen nigga had that, boy. Don't make me, don't make me get fired with those eggs. And that's where this story begins. So for this story, I'm gonna take you back, back to my summer school year. So it was the final week of the school semester. Now, just like usual, during the final week, we would get our final report cards. Now, in all fairness, American public school systems aren't known for their top tier education, especially if you live in a lower income neighborhood. Trust me, all you gotta do is half ass your way through the school year and you're pretty much guaranteed at least a C's. And you know the saying, C's get it's you degrees. Now, usually I was an AB student. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm no Elon Musk or anything, but in the American public school system, I'm that nigga. The cheating god. So to give you a quick flashback, your boy got caught cheating on the test and ended up failing the subject. Now, if you want the backstory, just spam the comment section and your boy will deliver. So I get to the crib, got to my room, and hope to God that my parents will not remember this report card season. But then, a few moments later, my mom walks into my room. Tim, aren't you forgetting something? Oh, sorry, mom. No, of course, I didn't want to show my mom my bad report card, but since I had no choice, I gave it to her. What is this? Is this an F? Um, well, see what had happened was... Did this boy bring back an F to this house? Now, just in case you didn't know, I got African parents. You know, the type of parents that anything below an A is a failure. So I was like, Mom, I'm sorry. I'll do better next time. Sorry? Do you want to end up like a bum when you grow up? No. Then why are you failing public school? Well, maybe if we could afford private school, I wouldn't have this issue. Okay, maybe I didn't say that, but I damn sure was thinking it. Now I know you know the stereotypical black household, the dad missing from the home, but not my house, my guy. My dad was home on a daily basis. Ass whoopings were delivered on the day, my guy. Mom, you're not going to tell dad about this, are you? Oh, now you want to pay attention. Well, pay attention to this. As soon as your dad walks in, he's about to find out. Damn. My mom's a snitch. So fast forward and my pops comes to the crib and gets the news that I was failing school. Son, what is this I hear about you failing school? I'm sorry, dad. I don't know what happened. No, there's no excuses. You need to work harder. 
I know, Dad. Now, I don't know what it is, but my dad seemed to be in a good mood that day. Pops had probably had a payday or something. So, he came up with the great idea of me attending summer school. That way, I can make up for my failing grades. So, now, it's the first day of summer school. Now, as I said before, high school summer school is for the badass kids. The kids who need extra attention. So, I walk into the class. And from the first glimpse, I knew. Oh, I don't belong here. See, this class was full of the baddest kids you could ever think of. Kids rocking tattoos. No one was following the dress code. And to my recollection, not a single person was paying attention. And to make it worse, the teacher didn't care. Oh, this ain't good. So I get to my seat and get ready for class. Now on the first day, the teacher will give you a test just to see what subject you needed improvement. Now to my luck, the only open seat was next to this big kid named John. Man's looked like he didn't belong in high school. Damn, this guy's too old to be in high school. I wonder how old he is. But since I didn't want any trouble, I started my test. Oh, this is too easy. I'm acing this. So a few minutes later, I finish the test and start chilling. Then I look over to my side and notice Mr. Man's child over here having a rough time. Damn, that kid's got to be dumb to be that old and still in high school. Okay, square root of 81. Oh boy, this is hard. I can't do math. Okay, maybe I should cheat. Hmm, little man over here looking like he's already done. Okay, kids, it's time. So the teacher starts collecting the test. But then I see my man's look dead at me. Give me your test, kid. What? I said, give me your test. Now, come on, my guy. I'm not switching my test with this big overgrown man child. Oh, no, no, no. I'm not giving you my test. I'm not playing. No. Oh, is that right? Okay. Oh, damn. Did I just mess with the wrong guy? So fast forward and we get to the end of school. Now, I'm a tough guy. I'm no punk. But I didn't want to get a beat down either. So I knew I had one job. To stay clear of the big kid until I get in the bus. So I get outside, look to make sure the coast is clear, and then walk towards the bus. But before entering the bus, the kid walks up to me. Yo kid, I told you I'm coming for you. So you tough, huh? No, I don't think I'm tough. Well guess what? I'm your daddy today. Now like I always say, when it comes to bullies, you have to stand up for yourself. But fam, don't be stupid either. See, size makes a huge difference in fights. And you know the saying, the bigger they are, the harder they fall. But the bigger they are, the harder they hit too. So my guy, I'm gonna ask you one more time. What would you do? Fight this huge man child or take the L and run to your mama like a bitch? I didn't think. Can't go back home for getting kicked out of summer school. Oh no. Okay, I think I got an idea. John, I mean, Big John, right? Look, I can help you graduate high school. Look, man, I can help you pass the class. There's no need for this. Really? Yeah, I got you, fam. I'm your man. How you gonna do that? Okay, cool. Finally got his attention. Now just offer the olive branch and he'll reciprocate. See, bullies are misunderstood. They might have a tough exterior, but internally, they're just like you and me. Soft and tender, and don't we all need love? So my guy John punched the shit out of me. Yeah, f John. So moral of the story. When people show you who they are, believe them. What's up, bro? Thank you for joining your boy for another video. Oh, T Nation, we hit 500K sub. Let's go! Thank you, fam. Means the world to me. Now let's get to that Millie. Hey, so let's get straight to the shout outs. This week's first shout out goes to my guy, Will Halo. What's up, kid? My man's out here shutting it down on IG. So follow the king on IG as Will Halo. Keep doing your thing, my guy. Second shout out goes to the one and only Mastermind B. Oh, what's up, kid? A rapper and a YouTuber. Okay, my G. Follow the king on IG as MastermindV.O and on YouTube as MastermindVO. Keep shining, king. And last shout out goes to the fam, Demon Seed. Ooh, wee. My man's a musician and got the YouTube channel to prove it. So follow the kid on IG as ABP underscore Supreme and on YouTube as ABP Supreme. Keep doing your thing, fam. 
if you want a chance to win a shout out subscribe to the channel follow your boy on ig and send me that screenshot as always live timeless